Morning. George Heller, West 80 South Poles. Uh, March 25th, Monday. I think we got about six inches of snow yesterday and overnight. I say the wind's supposed to switch to a northwest wind. It's a kind of a northeast wind right now. Uh, so I decided I'd bring them over here. I still have to move the dog feeders over here yet. I just unrolled a bale of hay for them. Um, it'd be nice if they could get into the trees here. They have a little more cover. I just had them on the other side of the windbreak on the 80 over there uh, yesterday and last night. Um, they didn't really have any trees to go in at all. But they did fine but now it's supposed to switch wind and if I left them over there they'd be right in the wind and I don't want that wind is what makes it bad yeah. oh that red, I like that red ram there he's cool looking yep but yeah there's a good reason so lamb later on and calf later on. I glad we're not dropping any babies on the ground right now. It, that'd be scary. I got a friend of mine down in southern Minnesota and he bought himself a whole bunch of sheep and they were all bred to lamb here in March and he's doing pretty well though. He's he's got some skills down there so he can he's real good at adapting and getting things figured out down there he I think he's gonna be all right he's gonna do well but uh, yeah she's ready for a shear not just yet though probably in a few weeks when it warms up a little bit she's getting a little dirty on her back end from the pee but she's got a good coat on she's not cold at all Look at all that snow piled up on her There'd be more if she wasn't moving her own. Doesn't even melt on their backs. Nope. But yeah, well out there, this is on Maxine, so out on this side of the trees is out in the open kinda and it's coming from the east, so I didn't want to put them out there. So I jam back in here with that. I think I'm going to have to use the track machine this afternoon if I unroll a bale this afternoon, which is what I've been doing. I just, since it started snowing here, I, uh, I've just been giving them one at a time, then seeing how it goes, and then deciding, deciding what to do. That's another nice thing about that is you can really, just, you can decide where you want to feed right when you're doing it. You don't have to be bound to having bales set out in a certain spot so, but uh, I believe everybody's doing pretty well um, somebody asked about supplements on the comments the other day um, that's that sheep that Chad got after yesterday she's got a bloody ear he got close to his feeder or something. I don't know what happened, but I scolded him and he knew it. But, uh, what was I saying? No. Oh, supplements. No, we don't. We don't have any supplements out here besides the hay. We do have a couple salt blocks, but that's it. Uh, really want to try to get a mineral program established here soon uh, just feel like that's what I'm lacking kinda and could see a little better performance maybe if I had some mineral out here for them but uh, yeah they seem to be coming through winter pretty well pretty good condition on them uh, a few bald spots here and there that mostly started happening when I let them in here and then they started rubbing on all these trees and rubbing their hair off. I'm sure there's a few lice spots, but 
That's why they were rubbing so much, but they did rub a lot of it off. This guy started shedding his hair coat off already, a little prematurely. He should still be warm enough, though. He's still warm enough, Sprinkles. He's still got plenty of hair. Yep. Yeah. So, we're still susceptible to winter here in <laughs> the end of March. We, they're talking, I don't know, another... Whoa, just about slipped and fell down there. They're talking another maybe four or five inches today or something. I know there's kind of some rain down, way down south here in Minnesota. It's pushing north. I hope it stays cold enough so it's just snow and we don't have any... Uh... Yeah, they... CJ, now stop. That's another nice thing about having your dogs kind of tamed to people type tamed because they listen to commands somewhat. CJ, quit. You can actually teach them some commands. It's kind of nice. Uh, CJ is still a puppy. He, he's just over a year old. He, he's still... He's still puppy mode. Chad here, he's the old boy. He's he's our seasoned veteran here now. The boss. He's the boss of the boss of the flirt. He's too close to get a good shot of, so I'm gonna just keep it up here. But yeah, it's pretty beautiful out here actually. I mean snow is coming down pretty steadily. It's windy. We should walk, I should walk out where it's windy here. I'm going to do that. Let's walk out where it's windy and show you how brute, how gross it is out in the wide open. How nice this is to have. How nice it is to have this windbreak here. Be able to tuck them into. Yeah, it's just like kind of a bare spot between these trees here. I don't know if it was on purpose or what, how they planted these trees in here, or if that's just how they came up or what, but kind of nice. There's one here, and then there's another one kind of on the other side. Not quite as closed in as this, but pretty good. It's up against the fence line. There's the doggies. I still got to bring their feeders over. Snagged on some brush there. But, wow, yeah. So you can see, see how far those boys go out. You can tell how good it's snowing out here. I mean, even right here, I guess, wouldn't even be, I'm not feeling any wind right here, actually. When we got this big windbreak here, yeah, this wouldn't be bad at all. Maybe I'll unroll the bale right out here this afternoon for them. But yeah, it's really coming down. Uh, we need it. It's really dry still. Still in a drought. Uh, this is... I want to say we've got more snow yesterday and last night up until now than we have all winter since November. We got a little snow in November and then we got some a little bit later on but since then we haven't had any. We had well we've had like little traces. We got like an inch inch on Friday night or something like that. It wasn't very much. Uh, I mean yeah this is good. This is this is what we need. We need Need some snow, and then I guess the temperature is supposed to hover around a little above freezing, and then go in the 20s at night, which is just right, because it can melt some during the day and then freeze again at night, and that gives us a nice slow melt, which will allow it to soak into the ground. So there is a little bit of frost in the ground, so we kind of need that to come out so that we can uh, get this water to soak in there. Our rivers and everything are really low. Our lakes are low. All the ice is out of the lakes. There's nobody ice fishing anymore. 
Uh, that's really early for that this year, I guess. But, yeah. So, I uh, just kind of video about, you know, being able to adapt where your animals are. It's kind of nice to have a few different spots where you can take them and then be, look, I snagged my hat on the tree. Oops, sorry. It's nice to have options for different types of weather. Uh, it's really cool and then when they're used to moving all the time it's not really a big deal at all to get them to come. They just follow the hay. And wherever you put the hay that's where they go because that's what they're used to doing so it just works out real well. But uh, yeah. I'd just show everybody how we're doing here in this blizzard. It's supposed to snow for another day here, I guess. I'm kind of happy about that because we need it pretty bad. And, uh, yeah, everybody have a great day and take it easy.